Canadian prog rock trio Rush are known more for their serious musical chops than for typical rock and roll debauchery. So fans were surprised when a member of the group was tasered and beaten bloody by cops. Rush, you know, still one of the biggest bands on the planet. They're really like a nerdy bunch of really nice, super smart guys. Like, the last people on earth you'd expect to get in any trouble. If those guys were any more laid back, they'd be dead. The trouble started in 2003, when Rush guitarist Alex Lifeson and his family were attending a New Year's Eve bash at a Florida Ritz-Carlton. Out of nowhere, Lifeson's 33-year-old son Justin jumped on stage, started singing, and refused to leave. Hotel security uh, called the police. Alex thought that they were getting a little too rough and went up and intervened. And Alex Lifeson is like, hey, that's my son. And then he starts fighting with the police officers. And before you know it, he's getting tased by the man. It's rumored that Alex Lifeson pushed a sheriff down the stairs. He was tasered six times, had his nose broken. He gets arrested, taken to the station. He's wearing a bloody tuxedo shirt. He looks more badass in his mugshot photos than he probably ever could playing for Rush. Gives a new meaning to dinner at the Ritz. Lifeson pled no contest to a reduced charge of resisting arrest, but was guilty of roughing up the band's rock and roll rep. These Rush guys are probably just closet badasses, you know, putting on this front of being these intellectual prog guys all these years. Meanwhile, they'll kick your ass. One more.